guys, welcome back to the channel for another episode of Retro Reviews. I'm doing another energy drink review today. <clears throat> the one in question, as you know from the title, Monster Ultra Rosé. Or is that Rosa? I think it's Rosé. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. I like the wine. Um, yeah. There was one of these that made my top 10. The Monster Ultra Fiesta, right? That one, like, I've tried like, four, I think, three or four other Monster Ultras. This was like the only one I liked. Now, I have tried an a, a Ultra Gold recently, and it was not too bad. So maybe if I find that one again, I'll do a video on that one. Um, so yeah, we're, we're doing the Rosa here today. Um, just a little bit about it. It's got uh, L-carnitine, taurine, zero sugar, zero. Or I'm not sorry. Ten calories. It does have. It does have ten calories. Six grams of carbs, which I'm not too. Again, not crazy about it because for me, I try to keep carbs down as much as possible and it's hard to do with all the food out there you know bread pasta cereal crackers pancakes the list goes on and on there's like tons of carbs to uh, as far as food goes so it's it's like yeah as hard as it is to avoid carbs in your food it's like yeah you, you don't really probably want to in your want to in your drink but six grams so i mean some people can live with that just me personally, I wouldn't make a habit of like drinking it often. Even you know, even my favorite here, even the one that made my top ten, I you know I won't drink this like all the time. Like I, I prefer zero calories, zero sugar, zero carbs. Like those three zeros, right? Um, so, anyways, let's get let's move on. Um, for caffeine content, it's got 150 milligrams, so it's got about half of your your bangs, your range, your your Rockstar X Durance. You know, those are the three big boys that I really uh, like um, and, and, you know, use for a caffeine boost. So this one's only got half half the amount. So already right there, it's like, yeah, it's only got half the ca only got half the content content. Plus it has six grams of carbs. So it's like, yeah, there's some already negatives here about it. But let's let's taste it out and see what we think of it, all right? Yeah, I had I had to uh, get my handy my Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass out to read some of the stuff. The 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 print is so small. It's like either the print's so small or I'm getting old or both, right? So let's let's crack this baby open. And it does have a smell there. Maybe like a wine smell. Let's let's taste it out. Hmm. Okay, I like it. You know, usually if you get you get that one drink, that first drink, usually you know if it's a good drink or not. Like you you know right away, like whether you like it or not. Like. You know, I keep going back to that Nos Turbo, right? It's like that one had no flavor at all. It just it was sweet, but just tasted like nothing. Um, but yeah, I, I like the taste of this. This that's a good taste. Let me try one more. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. I can say I would rec I would recommend it. It has a good it has a good taste. You know. It's not, uh, it's got a little bit of sweetness. It's not very, it's not, it's got a medium. I'm going to say a medium sweetness profile. Um, it's not as sweet as my Tropical Fire or my Marshmallow or even my Lilikoi Lychee or my Candy Apple Crisp by Bang. Those are like, or the Rockstar Marshmallow, like those are all sweeter than this. Um, but it's not bitter or sour either though. So that's it. I will say it has a nice balance to it. So it's it's got that going for it, right? Um, yeah, 
in, in the grand scheme of things, six grams isn't like of carbs, right? Six grams of carbs is not a huge like deal breaker, you know, like it's not going to like, I mean, I'm not a keto expert. I know like a lot of people like, uh, you know, follow the keto diet nowadays. You'd have to do your own research. I'm not sure if this would kick you off, kick you out of ketosis or not. Um, you know, six grams of carbs. I, I know people uh, that do the keto diet. They're allowed like a little bit of, like a little bit of carbs per day. So you could enjoy this with a meal, even you know, or like if it's later, late, late afternoon, you need a little bit of pick me up. Yeah, I'd, I'd say try it out. Let's go one more. Yep, I like it. It's good. As far as the flavor profile, I'm going to give this a... I'm going to give this a solid... Hmm, 7.9. Not quite 8. It just barely missed 8, but it's a, it's right there. It's right on the cusp. It's right on the edge. Right? 7.9. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. Um... And no, I do not waste plastic cups, you know, pouring out. Because a lot of people are like, well, what color is it? It's like, you know, it, color doesn't matter to me, right? Um, just looking at it, it looks it looks like there is like a reddish color, but I, I could be wrong. But, yeah, I know Caffeine Man pours it in a plastic cup so they can see the color. But to me... I prefer drinking straight out of the can. I and I do think that I don't n nothing about the color. It's all about the taste for me, right? Drinking straight from the can, I just for me have tasted better. I've poured them in cups, and I don't know if it's something about the aluminum can, or just maybe my mind seeing the liquid itself. Cause see, when I'm when you drink it out of the can, you're you're looking at the colors of these can of the can, and I think that can like signal something to your brain. Now, if you're looking at something clear, your your mind doesn't like like clear as you think water or maybe even Sprite, right? So clear really doesn't trigger something to the brain as far as it's supposed to taste like anything. So I prefer drinking out of the can. I think it tastes better straight from the can, and you're not wasting plastic cups. You're you're helping the environment, right? So, anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, tap that subscribe button down there and then hit the bell next to it. Ding, ding. All right. And that way you'll be notified when I, uh, upload new videos. Um, and if you do like this video, you know, give, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel a lot. That's a way you can, uh, help, you know, so show your support for the channel. So that's going to do it for this time. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. And until next time, keep it retro.